I don't know how to start this video. Hello, my name is Kelsey and welcome back to another video. It's been a while since we've sat down and chatted together. So today I'm going to be doing a 2021 year in review for myself, I guess. Um, but it's also going to be for you at home or wherever you are watching from right now. I'd like to start doing this tradition of little like year end review videos. Last year for 2020, I created a more cinematic type video. I don't know, I was feeling like poetic or, or something. Sometimes I watch it back and I'm just like, Ehh. but I get that awkward feeling when I watch most of my videos back again. So this year I instead wanted to give myself some prompts so that I can both review this last year that I've, you know, lived and also help outline some of my goals for 2022. And I'm going to encourage you at home to take these prompts and answer them yourself either in a journal or a phone note or just, you know, in your head or you know, tell it to your dog. If you have a journal like me, I am literally obsessed with journals and journaling. I did create a video in February of this year when I had COVID. So I'll link that in the description below if you wanna check it out. If you are a friend of mine watching this or a family member, then you know that I've literally become obsessed with journals. I started journaling at the end of 2020. I, it was, you know, a coping mechanism to help me through the pandemic and also just like get a lot of my thoughts and my anxieties out on paper. And I do feel that I look back on these a lot I go and reread my journals and it gives me perspective. Anyways, what was I talking about? Don't remember. Oh, prompts. Yeah, so I recommend you following along with these prompts, get out a notebook or a pen or a paper or the blood of an ex-boyfriend and write down these prompts. With me, you can either pause the video and write it down throughout the video or you can write them down, come back to it, think on it a little bit. Uh, and if you don't wanna write it down at all and you just wanna watch me talk to myself in my bedroom, then I don't fucking care, just do whatever you want. All right, I've got five questions or five prompts. Uh, so let's begin. What are some accomplishments that you have achieved this year? This was actually Actually a really easy question to answer for me because in my blue journal I have like literally a million journals as I already told you I started this thing where I keep a running list of all of my accomplishments basically anytime I have a little win or an accomplishment or I achieve a goal like big or small I have total opposite ends of the spectrum of like sizes of accomplishments I write them down on the list and a lot of the times you, f you forget about all of the things that you've accomplished because you know, you're so wrapped up in your day to day and you're sometimes so wrapped up on the negativity and all the things that are going wrong. So I love having this list to look back on to be like, yeah, fuck yeah, I did a lot and I accomplished a lot of my goals that I wanted to accomplish. And um, it's a little, little, little confidence boost, you know? Helps with the imposter syndrome as well. I am going to literally read off my list of accomplishments for 2021 and um, give myself a little pat on the back. I reached 1,000 YouTube subscribers. That was a fucking huge accomplishment for me. I was so hype about that. I made $650 in one weekend just from brand deals and from YouTube stuff. Stuff. That was like a lot for me. Um, I mean, still still a lot for me um, financially in my life. I landed my first independent like commercial interior design project. That's the Homesdale project that I, uh, I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna finish those videos. Probably won't, sorry guys. I threw myself an awesome birthday party. That was, that was an accomplishment. I, I had to put that in there. I have written down at the beginning of the year that I took the NCIDQ interior design exam. And as of now, it is crossed out and written down in my list that I have passed my NCIDQ interior design certification exam. You heard it here. I'm officially a nationally certified interior designer. You didn't think that interior designers needed to spend a lot of money and get a lot of schooling and take a lot of fucking dumbass tests for 12 hours in a proctor center. Well, they do. And, and, um, Anyways, I'm proud of myself for that. I started journaling regularly. That was a small goal that I wanted to achieve. Got back into like a little routine of journaling. I talked about like some of my best videos on YouTube, some that got like a lot of views, like super proud of those. I got my own healthcare, which I, I don't know why I wrote that down. That's not really an accomplishment. It's more of a like you got older and your parents insurance kicked you off and you now have to like pay a lot of money per month for your own healthcare that like doesn't even work. <laughs> Healthcare is a scam. I got LASIK. I've been waiting so long to get that my entire life to this day. 
best decision I've ever made and I paid for it myself and I did it all myself and I was like that was like a big that was like a big girl like adult move like yeah that was I loved that I moved into this new apartment and I bought nice furniture I bought my first West Elm piece of furniture I ooh. Oof, 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 oof. I was invited to go to Dallas for a work trip, including Dallas. Like, I feel like I just traveled a lot in general. I went to Dallas, I went to Sarasota, Florida, San Diego, LA, Nashville, probably a lot of other places that I, that I literally can't even remember. But I did so much traveling and that's something that I feel like is such an accomplishment. Considering it's still COVID, um, I probably shouldn't be doing that, but it's fine. I went to Firefly and camped there. Camping is an accomplishment in itself, but I was there for two full days by myself. And if you want to go see me cry uh, while setting up my tent in a hurricane, then go watch my Firefly vlog. I'll also link that in the description box. I got a raise at my full-time job. Never gotten a raise before. Go me. Deserved that. You earned that. So yeah, um, piece of advice. You start a running list of all your accomplishments then you can look back and, um, and just see, just see. I don't know, let's move on to the next one. What are some goals that you didn't reach this year? Honestly, there are not a lot of goals that I didn't reach. I had a couple YouTube goals specifically, which I'm pretty sure I, I, I reached them all. I got monetized. Oh, that's also an accomplishment. Got to add that in there. One of my goals in terms of like my personal brand and my personal self is that I wanted to create a website and I keep starting that and getting distracted. And also I, I don't know how to build a website and I really suck at it. I'm like good at most things in life, but I just, I struggle so hard to make a website. That is something that's next year, not a make or break. Eventually it'll come. And I thought I would be a little bit further along in terms of my like side hustles. I fucking hate calling it that. Although my initial goal was monetization and a thousand YouTube subscribers. I reached that. I did think that I would have more than that by now. And I know that the reason is because I stopped uploading consistently. I just think that I'm trying to take my mindset from this is what I have to do to make more money. And this is what I have to do if I ever want to be successful to like be consistent, keep a schedule, film, edit, don't go out. Bus, club, another club another club but in reality i love doing lots of things and i don't just want to not go out or sacrifice other parts of my life to do youtube making youtube my hobby like this is my hobby right now and i don't want to have to force my art to support me financially because that you know not only puts so much pressure on it it becomes less fun but also it just it turns it into a job and i i hate working so why would i want to work in my free time anyways that, that was like a little bit of a rant what is a lesson that you learned i learned that it's okay to say no to things that you don't actually want to do that could be events that could be friends that could be work related things fuck everything that is an obligation or that like doesn't make you happy and saying yes to things that you actually find the joy in i have said no to a couple of things with friends and just flat out been honest like hey I'm not feeling it today I really don't want to go and I really just like need to like have alone time no one's ever told me oh you're being a fucking bitch if you don't come no one's gonna say that like no one cares stop worrying about other people's feelings and worry about yourself first I have such a hard time with this I mean I consider myself a very selfish person but in the grand scheme of things I will always try and make sure that someone else is more comfortable before I am comfortable myself. Like I want other people to feel okay and accepted and open and like comfortable, even if it makes me uncomfortable. Don't do that, don't be like me. You can't change other people, so stop trying to do that. Focus on yourself. You can inspire people though, and the way that you can inspire people is by doing the things that you want to do and doing the things that make you happy. And if people see that you are doing something that inspires them, then they are going to change with your influence, but they're gonna do it because they've made the decision themselves. So you can never change people. And if you're dating a guy that you think you can change, break up with him, you're never gonna change him. Biggest lesson to date, burnout is fucking real. I have never felt burnout in my entire life like I have the past year. Oh my God, burnout fucking sucks. 
and I do it to myself because I can't ever turn my brain off. I have to be working. I have to be doing something at all times. When you are doing too many things, and you're working so hard and you just, you get burnout and then you want to do nothing. And it's a 180. You're either working so hard that you're crying yourself to sleep and you're so stressed or you are so burnt out that you physically cannot do anything. I've learned that I know what it feels like when burnout is coming along, when I start to feel a little overworked and a little overstressed. And that is the signal for me to pause and let myself relax. I have a hard time letting myself relax. That is a way to avoid the like mountain and then like molehill. Uh, no, that's not a molehill. That's a desert, no, hole, uh, grave. Next prompt. What are you looking to manifest in 2022? I use the word manifest. I am such a big manifestation person, manifester, person who, who manifests things. So a realistic goal of mine, if we're thinking like super realistic is 5,000 YouTube subscribers by the end of next year, which seems like super easy. I could do that. But if we are going to reach a little bit for the stars, if we are going to have a little bit of realism and a little bit of like magic, then I am going to set my goal at 10 fucking thousand YouTube subscribers. Let's, let's see if I can do that. I want to complete another independent interior design project. Independent meaning uh, I work a full-time job at an architectural firm as an interior designer, but I do some projects on the side. A goal would be to complete another project. I might have one coming up in the works. I will let you know. I want to get a promotion at my nine to five full-time job. It is not much of a like high reaching goal just because of the amount of time that I've been there. I am basically like on the list to like get a promotion next year. I mean, if I don't like get fired, I'll, that'll probably happen. A small goal, you know, very reachable, but we threw it on there just in case. Build my website finally, like I already talked about, I can't build a website. And if you are watching and you want to build me a website, please let me know, send me a DM. I don't have a lot of money though, so it's going to be like, a super, super low paying job. <laughs> Write a TV show. This is like so just like random, but I've been getting this urge to write a TV show. I've always wanted to be on a TV show. I've always wanted to like work on a TV show. I don't know. And I don't know what it's going to be at all. I don't know what the genre is, but I just have had the urge to write one and it seems like it would be fun. Yeah, I don't know. That's gonna be like a little, like li little side thing that I'm cooking up. Join a gym. I'm thinking about joining Soul Cycle, or I might be signing up for like a gym, like wellness this club that is like the most basic new year's resolution you can have and it fails every single time but you know we're gonna throw it in there because because we think we're gonna work out right kelsey you're gonna work out next year you're gonna do it okay we'll see where you are in february good luck with that don't spend too much money make an extra fifteen thousand dollars on top of my general like full-time salary i don't know how that's gonna happen either i made like ten dollars from adsense so probably won't be YouTube, but we'll, we'll see. Money, come to me. That's how you do it. My last goal is to learn French and go to Paris. I am learning French right now via Duolingo. Que voudrais vous manger? J'habite un appartement à New York. Je travaille en chien. Au chat, l'orange, mange, et s'il vous plaît. Yeah, and Paris has been on my bucket list for a long time. Paris, the Louvre, Bordeaux, Champagne. You know, I want to go out into the wineries in the country. I want to go to the south of France. I mean, so many museums are on my list. I'm such like an art history nerd. And the last prompt is what steps can you take to achieve those goals that you just set right now? The one thing that I can do every single day that will help me achieve a lot, a lot of those goals is to get myself back into a routine. I've been traveling so much, whether that be on actual trips to like California, Nashville, where I just was, or even traveling back and forth from the city to Long Island to see my family. I'm never home. I've maybe been home for three days at a time in the last six months. Like I, I physically am never home. And because of that, I've been eating out a lot and I haven't been food shopping. I have- Are you freaking kidding me? 
I don't have a day to day routine. I've been eating out so much because I don't have the time and the energy to like go grocery shopping and plan my meals for the week. I also, you know, I haven't signed up for a gym, so getting that into my weekly routine is gonna help me just overall be healthier uh, and more motivated when it when it go, comes to going to the gym. And also now, experiencing working from home the last two years, I already kind of talked about burnout, but just knowing how burnt out I get, having a schedule set for myself of when I'm working my full-time job, when I'm working my side jobs, when I'm allowing myself a day off, what time of the day I'm allowing myself to shut down and like binge watch like bad are you the one seasons. That is gonna help the burnout and that is also gonna help keep my motivation and that's gonna help me accomplish all of these goals that are kind of happening simultaneously. And um, Keep doing my Duolingo. Super marché et je travaille beaucoup et Ooh, sorry avocado tree, I didn't mean to. That's it, I, I never know how to end a video, but I just wanna say that I hope these prompts helped you. I really, really, really hope that you have taken these and written them down. I strongly, strongly encourage it. All of you watching are the ones that help me achieve these goals. And I hope you reach your goals next year. I'm rooting for you as well. I will see you in my next video. I hope you have an amazing rest of 2021. 2022 is going to be so much better, but we need to walk in slowly, not make any noise, not startle anyone, not startle any new viruses. And um, hopefully we'll be just, just fine, hopefully. And I never know what to do with my hands in the end of this video, so I'm just gonna cut it. <laughs>